Hey there guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the part two of modeling of creating the uh, Epic Sports Ident here uh, in Cinema 4D and After Effects. So this is going to be the After Effects version where we're going to be doing the complete compositing, color correction and stuff. And if you guys haven't checked out the first part, uh, check that. Uh, the link is in the description. So we do a complete um, breakdown of how I created the logo in Cinema 4D. So uh, here uh, in After Effects, it's going to be pretty simple, not too much in detail. Uh, I've kept the resolution to a third. I'll actually go, go ahead and keep it to low, to quarter, because uh, there's a lot of data over here. Uh, so the first thing what you want to do is, let me go you know, one by one. So here we have uh, this composition. Let me just open that for you guys. Um, right. Uh, so, so uh, you, you know, I just put this light, but uh, it's not necessary that you need the light. So I'm just going to delete those lights. Uh, let's, right. Uh, so you can just go ahead and delete those lights. And here we have a background texture that's over here. And uh, this camera, again, we don't want that. Uh, okay. So, yeah. And we have just a black solid. So, if we, just go, we have a black solid and then we have a texture. So, basically, uh, we have this texture over here and it is set to add blending mode. So, it's just a simple grunge texture and uh, we have a gray solid right over here. So, as you can see, it's a, it's a simple gray solid. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, that is going to be our BG composition. So, once we have that, uh, let me just go over here. Yes, and uh, that is our BG composition. The next one is we have our smoke comp over here. So if we go into the smoke comp, we can see we have uh, and uh, we have a layer with fractal noise put on that. And these are the settings that I have used. So contrast is around 270, brightness down to minus 50, and uh, we have a pretty big amount of scale. And the noise type is set to soft linear. And um, we've had I've put an expression for the evolution. Uh, so if I press U on the keyboard, you can see there's an evolution. So how you want to put an evolution to that is you just want to go and um, show you guys. Uh, so you just want to go ahead and Alt click on the stopwatch, and you want to type in uh, type in time times seventy. That's it, guys. So time times seventy, and uh, we get a simple nice animation over here. And I've added a fast blur amount of 77% uh, of 77, and uh, I've checked on repeat eggs pixels. So uh, you know, sorry if you hear too much of uh, noise in the background because uh, I'm not at my usual, I'm not at home actually. I'm actually somewhere else recording this thing. Okay, so that is our smoke composition. Um, yes, okay, and then we have our render, uh, which is with the PNG render over here, and. Uh, as you can see, we just have some render over here, and uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Yeah, uh, we don't want this. That was just for my reference purpose. Um, so we just have a simple. If I put on the transparency, you can see uh, it's a complete transparent, and we have only the logo, uh, which is being shown over here. So yeah. So once we have our render composition over here set. Let's go here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna. I have duplicated the, sp the smoke composition, and I put a simple mask around it over here. So have I put a mask around here? Okay, yeah. There's a mask around here. So um, so this is the mask over here, uh, in the back, and here is a mask over here on the top, and uh, uh, that's great. Uh, I think this um, texture is a little too popping out. So I'm gonna go back here into the BG space. I'm gonna go to the texture over here. And uh, it ha already has a curves, but uh, I'm just going to go create a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to go to brightness and contrast, Brighten uh, brightness and contrast. And I'm just going to go and reduce the brightness to say something like minus 10. Um, actually, let's increase the brightness to 10, not decrease it. Maybe to 20. Uh, OK, that looks better. So we can go here into our main composition and uh, yeah. That looks okay, and then we have a flare over here. So, uh, so it's a simple flare over here. I think we'll go go ahead and do some changes to this. This BG, not the BG, the uh, the yeah, the BG space, yeah. Uh, go to the BG over here, and maybe increase the contrast to ten. Uh, we set that to twenty. Let's set the thirty. Uh, I can set this to ten. Uh, that, that's too bright. Okay, let's set this to 10 and 10. Okay, that looks better. 
Uh, so let's go back to our menu here. I mean, you guys can go ahead and play with the settings. That's fine. Yeah, that looks better. So now, as you can see here, we have a flare. So uh, it's just a normal flare. So if, so I have I found it on online. Uh, it's basically a flickering um, uh, flare. But if you guys have optical flares, how we can go and do is you can press uh, let's control Y. Let's make a new solid. And we can go ahead and choose optical flares, and we're gonna drop in the optical flares plugin over here. And then all we can do here is we can go ahead and we can delete everything except the glow. And then we can go ahead and increase the size of this glow to something like that, and maybe set the brightness to 800. Uh, let's actually increase the brightness, and we can reduce the size. Yeah, something like that. And uh, there we go. And then we can go ahead and set this to add and then once we set this to add we can just go ahead and place it over here I'm just gonna hide this for now and uh, yep that's good and then if you wanted to flicker you can go ahead and click on the flicker and you can set the amount to say 5 and 5 for the speed and the amount 5 and um, so that's one way you can do um, and you guys want to change the color you can do that and I just added a fast blur here of 10% and uh, you know uh, the color hue was basically to change the color of the uh, um, the you know the the hue of the I'm sorry what am I saying um, the color of the optical flare over here so that there's a slight variation and I just duplicated it and I put it here on the bottom over here and changed the color so if you can see go to my hue I have a different color over here so that's pretty much it guys uh, I'm going to delete this optical flare layer here so once you do that you want to put all that into a new composition and uh, so this is our main composition let me just turn that on okay uh, and then I just added a vignette so if you if I turn this on we have a nice vignette over here so to add a vignette it's pretty simple what you want to do is you want to go grab a new layer so let me just show you guys how to do that I press Control Y and you get a black solid and then you want to go uh, change this to the ellipse tool and once you do that you want to double click and that gives us this mask over here and what you want to do is you want to invert it uh, so what happens is it you know does that and you want to press F on the keyboard you get the mask feather I'm going to set this to a bigger one say probably 100 and or actually let's say something around 250 that's pretty big and uh, I'm going to go press MM uh, on the keyboard um, to get the mask properties and I'm going to go to the expansion I'm going to set that to 20 right uh, so let's actually set this to a 50 let's see if we get some good amount um, uh, yeah, let's set this to a hundred uh, I mean you guys have to play with it yeah so that's pretty much it um, and then you can guys go ahead and you want to reduce the opacity you can go ahead and reduce that to say something like 60 and it gives a simple nice effect we'll probably set this to um, 75 um, yep yeah, 75 looks good um, so you know you, you get a nice uh, cinematic look anyways over there so um, that's the vignette over here guys um, after that what you can do is we have added an adjustment layer which is the RSMB that is a real smart motion blur um, you guys can so once I check that on uh, it it you know during the movement of the logo and the, the optical flares it gives a little bit of blurriness which gives you the effect of realism so that is our real smart motion blur and after that we have added a new adjustment layer which is going to be the magic bullet look so this is basically my color correction um, a tool which I use and I literally love this it is amazing so if I go here into edit over here it's going to open up my magic bullet looks um, uh, what do you say the the preview window so let me just wait to open that up and where are you magic bullet looks come on okay so, so here it is and um, a pretty bunch of crazy ass presets and I actually kind of forgot which I used. I think I used invasion I'm not quite sure uh, but how do I find that out um, let's see skin nah, let's go look all looks which I, I, I have no idea which I use guys so sorry about that uh, but th there are that crazy bunch of presets you can use over here um, let me see I think I use I think I use this one yeah this invasion I think this looks pretty similar I think I just reduced the opacity so invasion looks great and then I'm just gonna click on cancel over here and if I press T on the keyboard okay there's a hundred percent opacity yeah and then we have this uh, BG over here what is this um, okay so this is basically the fade in and the fader out so uh, it starts in with a nice fade over here so uh, yeah so uh, let's turn this back on uh, we don't want the solid so let's just delete that okay um 
Yeah, so, so it slowly fades in uh, into the animation. Um, and, uh, you know, it, the animation happens, and, you know, in the end, it just uh, fades out. Um, yeah, so uh, that is pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you guys uh, learned something new and you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe for more content because I have more Photoshop tutorials coming up soon, uh, more Cinema 4D tutorials coming up in the soon, and more game reviews as well. Uh, any links you guys want to check out, my, my, my game review plays, my Clash Royale videos, you can check that out in the description. And I also am on Twitter, so you guys can check, my, check, me, out, check me out on Twitter as well. And I'm a part of a group called as Void Visuals, where we make graphics for a lot of people. Um, so the link is that the link for that is also in the description. So that is end of this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, make, feel free to you know put a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So then take care and bye bye.